I work in the field of HIV and AIDS. We need to apply a lot of science to it, and some of it has practical outcomes. When we first began to uh, grow HIV, uh, almost immediately after it was discovered in 1983, we very rapidly uh, developed a diagnostic test. Um, who is infected and who isn't? Uh, that not only helped uh, the people who were infected when uh, anti-HIV drugs came along, but it had a much more immediate effect. We could screen blood donations and make sure that people didn't become unwittingly infected with HIV through receiving a blood transfusion. Uh, so that was a very practical effect of uh, looking at the science uh, of HIV. Then the drugs came along, and I'm sorry to say, unlike polio and smallpox, we don't yet have a vaccine against HIV. That's what my lab is working on at the moment, amongst many others, but it's a much tougher nut to crack, probably because we don't understand enough about the science of HIV infection and how it infects the body. But science must pervade medicine all the way through. 